YouTube, what's going on? If you're new here, my name is Roger. I own a company called QVO Tactical where we make holsters and gear and also film content for this channel. In today's video, I will be showing you one of my favorite setups to date. I'm talking about the Staccato C2 Duo with the chunk port modification from Cutter Machine Works. As always, I like to let you guys know how I go about getting these products in for review. Over the last few months, I have become Instagram friends with Vinny, AKA Monsoon Tactical. Uh, he and I have a great appreciation for the 2011 platform. A few months ago, he showed me some modifications that he made to his Staccato C2 Duo while working over at Cutter Machine Works. And after seeing it, I knew that I had to get it done to mine as well. So we worked out a deal for some product trade between the work and holsters, and now here we are. Okay, so what is the chunk port and why do you need it? Uh, well, let's start off by going back to my initial Staccato XC review. If you've seen that video, you may remember me saying that the XC in particular was my favorite 2011 to shoot because of the large integrated single port compensator. However, I wouldn't carry it because of how light the trigger was. Uh, well, with the awesome work done by Cutter Machine Works, I can now have that large single port compensator and that super flat shooting effect, but in a gun designed for concealed carry. I recently purchased a Staccato C2 Duo from our good buddies over at Ventura Munitions. Uh, this gun shoots similar to the other Staccato reviews that I've done, both the P Duo and the 5 inch model from a couple years back. Uh, the difference is that it comes in a 3.9 inch barrel configuration and is designed to work with red dot optics. I opted to use the new Holosun 509T as it has a fully enclosed emitter. In order to do this, I had to order and purchase the adapter plate from CNH Precision Weapons. Uh, this adapter plate allows for the optic to attach properly and also also provides a rear backup sight integrated into the plate. Now the chunk port service runs about $375, which I think is very reasonable. Um, you get the porting of your barrel and slide, the front sight relocated behind the port, and a single layer of Cerakote to give it a nice clean finish. I chose to go with the gray finish just for a subtle hint of two-tone. Um, if ordering for the C2 Duo, you'll also receive reduced recoil springs to ensure lockback on an empty magazine. Now I know you're all wondering, well, how well does this thing shoot? Uh, I'm going to show you exactly how well it shoots in the rain portion coming up, but let me just say this. It's awesome. Before we dive into the range portion, I'll go over how I have my C2 set up as I know I'm gonna get questions about it. Uh, in addition to the 509T red dot from Hollow Sun, I also have the grip stippled by Extreme Shooters as I really dig the original 2011 stipple job done by them. I've also thrown on the Streamlight TLR7A as I find the controls to be very intuitive and easy to use. All of that gets carried on the daily in my Wingman Appendix Rig made by yours truly. Uh, this one in particular is neon yellow with our comic book fabric overlay. I've been running this holster for about the last three months months and I have to say this is probably my favorite setup in my EDC lineup. Okay, with all of that now out of the way, let's get on to the range portion. For this video, we went out on the range a couple of times for different sessions where I had both Paul and Matt with me. Uh, we've run a little over 500 rounds total through the gun and I'm happy to say that it has performed flawlessly with everything we've put through it. As always, I like to get the first rounds through the gun on camera, so here's that footage now. All right, these are gonna be the first rounds out of my Staccato C2 Duo that has the chunk port in it from uh, Vinny over at Monsoon Tactical. And uh, yeah, I've been waiting for this one as well. Um, this is like my very own XC Mini. So let's try this out, here we go. Vinny, these are the first rounds through it. Flawless, bro. This thing is so sweet. All right, Paul, your first round through the chunk port. The little, the mini XC. Let's do it. What? It doesn't move. No, no, man. And, uh, <laughs> it, it's there, you never get that like the gun staying so flat that you could just watch the dot like better than you ever have before. That's too much, that's too much fun. All right, Matt. <laughs> oh man, yo, that's wild. 
You just, I just constantly have my sight picture. Like I don't always have to find it again because it's just, the gun's just always there. That's amazing. Very nice. Very nice. For you guys in the Patreon squad, we even got our buddy Fam on the range to try this thing out while he was visiting here in January. Okay, this is sweet. <laughs> <laughs> this one's <laughs> this is super dope. Let's do another one here. Yes. This is fucking crazy, right? Yes, yes, yes. Uh, That's dope, dude. I wanted a mini XC, bro. Now we have it's it. It's a mini XC. You could, the, tr you the trigger's not as like I, that's the thing. sensitive as yeah, the... Yeah, dude. So like, I love the XC, but I'm not carrying a two pound oh. trigger gun. Sketchy, dude. Dude, uh, send your staccato P in, dog. <laughs> Cause they look, they mill it out to where you can. Yeah. They use your, you send it with your whole slide. Oh, cool, yeah. And they it's put your sight there. Slot, huh? They just they machine out a new slot for your slide or for your uh, front sight. That's cool, man. I might do that instead of just getting a C. Yeah, you're only it's it's almost the same. You're talking 3.9 versus 4. Oh, it's a half inch. I mean that that matters. That's what she said. <laughs> Dude, it's so, like, it really doesn't move. Oh, and then I, <laughs> then I missed twice. What do we get? I think that's enough for a quick build drill. 16. When it comes down to it, I suck. Alright, cool. This is sweet, dude. It's super sweet. I'm thoroughly impressed. I am too. During the next range session, we ran a variety of drills, everything from El Presidente drills to the 1R1 drill, and of course, the good old build drill. Uh, I do wanna show you guys that with the 509T, it is very easy to keep that dot in view. Uh, the chug port removes so much of the recoil that it makes it very easy to keep the red dot tracking as you continue with follow-up shots. This especially helps out when shooting on the move as you're able to continually see the dot while pressing off rounds. Total time, 796, 796, let's look at these hits. I'll take that. I'll take that. And Brooke Lyon will have the box, let's still take them, good hits. But yeah, total time, 796. Uh, let's get you guys running this. Time 11:46. Let's go look at the hits. Uh, one on the box, but still all good. I mean, it broke the line. We're good. One, two, three, four. All in. All in. Yeah. What do you think, Polywall? This got so much fun. <laughs> Time, 1736. Let's go look at the hits. One, two, three, Ooh. and four. All in. Here. One, One two, two, three, four. Yeah. All in on the right side. We're good. All in. We're here. Man, I'm the only one that threw one out. <laughs> what do you think, Matt? It's dope. It's cool. It's a flat shooter for sure. Helps me out a lot, so it's great. <laughs> Total time, 376, let's look at these hits. Uh, one broke the X and then the 10, I'll take it. 
All right, and of course, just for fun, I'm gonna do a build drill from concealment. Uh, I'm gonna be aiming for these, uh, the bottom uh, section of the center white box here. All right, stand by. Two twenty six rounds for seal. My first shot one two five, and we got one two three four five six. Let's go one more. All right, one more builder. There we go. Two oh eight first shot one twenty six. Uh, got it. And we're all up in here. I'm still just going right, but yeah, I'll take it. You also know that I like to show the difference between different grains of 9mm ammunition, so here's that footage as well. All right, so we got a mag loaded up with, uh, do we do four or five rounds of each? Five rounds. Five rounds. So we got, uh, first coming out, it's gonna be five rounds, uh, 147 Winchester uh, Ranger, my hollow point's what I carry. Uh, next is gonna be some uh, 124, I, I kind of picked up whatever Venture I had. It's got a Scorpion on it. Okay, and then uh, the 115 grain will be the last five rounds, and that is from PMC. Uh, I got Meat Hands Paul over here, them big old grubby hands. Uh, yeah, come on gun, and it's nice even cadence, just like a one and two and three, and just kind of burn down the first five. Go for it. Oops. Okay, no. Okay, now the 124s. And now the 115s. Hey, -o. how'd it feel? Awesome. Didn't really feel much of a difference besides the 147 to the 124, but man, this thing just does all the work. Yeah, like for me, it's like when you guys watch the video, like when we slow it down in 100 frames per second, I, I can definitely see a difference. When I'm shooting it, I feel a difference between the grains. Mm -hmm. um, but when I just watch it normal, yeah, I don't, I don't see a difference. Yeah. Like when it's just normal, like uh, normal speed instead of slow down. It's awesome though. Cool. I have to say for you other 2011 fans out there, especially if you already have a C2 Duo, this is something to seriously consider, guys. I'm sure with all the range footage we've already shown, especially the slow motion footage, you can definitely see the difference in having that single port modified into your gun. For me, it's like having the minimal recoil of the XC, but in a carry gun with a nice carry trigger and smaller size. Uh, so pretty much for me, it's like a mini staccato XC. I do want to mention a couple of things. While on the range, we noticed that one magazine wasn't locking back on empty. Um, I discovered that this was an older mag with a damaged follower and it wasn't making contact with the slide stop. Uh, the included springs from Cutter Machine Works ensure that the gun functions and cycles properly, including lock back on empty. I also want to make it aware, if it wasn't obvious, that by doing this to your gun, you're definitely going to be voiding the warranty on your staccato. If this is something you can't live with, then I wouldn't recommend this route. However, if you're awesome and you're someone who likes to party, then party on. Party on, Wayne! Party on, Garth. Well guys, that's going to do it for our review on the chunk port from Cutter Machine Works on our Staccato C2 Duo. Uh, thank you for checking out the video, we really appreciate it. If you like the video, please give us a thumbs up down below as that does help us out. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing as we post new videos every week. If you wanna support our content, please check out our Patreon link down below. Uh, our Patreon members get first access to new content, new gear, special discounts, uh, codes, and giveaways. They are a big reason why we can keep making this content for you guys all to watch. Uh, definitely check out Vinny Monster Tactics and Cutter Machine Works on Instagram. Uh, we really appreciate them getting this done for us and sending it out, and we hope to see a lot of success uh, with this modification out there in the market. Thank you again, guys. Uh, guys, thanks for watching this video as always, and I will see you in the next video. Okay, so what is the Chuck Port? Chuck Port?
and that super flat shooting effect, but in a design, in a design, son of a monkey, I had it.